What up everyone, welcome to my video where I'm going to discuss the Oscar nominations for 2019. Now this video is coming out a few days before the Oscar event occurs and I'm going to just talk about my predictions, what I personally want to win each category, each main category at least. I'll be skipping over some of the documentary um, categories and some of the short categories just because some of these films and shows I haven't been able to watch. So I can't really comment about them and there's no real use of me discussing about them when I don't have much of a knowledge about the nominations itself. The one problem is that my short film substitute is being released next week. So the second half of this video which will talk about the actual winners will have to come out the following week, two weeks after the actual Oscars occur. So that's the one issue but it'll be fine and I'm sure you guys will enjoy these two videos. That said, I have the nominations on my phone here and I'll just be going through these and discussing them. So let's get started. I will be skipping Best Short Documentary Live Action Short Film and next coming up is Best Makeup. We have the nominations of Vice, Border, Mary Queen of Scots and that's it, only those three nominations. So the only movie out of these that I've actually seen is Vice and I have heard a lot of great things about Vice and Mary Queen of Scots. So I can only imagine one of those two movies winning and for the most part there's a lot more buzz around Vice itself especially in the whole Oscar run so I would imagine that Vice would take out that category. Coming up next we have Best Sound Editing. In this category we have Black Panther, First Man, Roma, Bohemian Rhapsody and A Quiet Place. Now you all know that I love A Quiet Place. It was one of my favorite films of 2018 and it's sound editing is different to how all these other nominations would have been nominated because it's more about how it takes out the sound from a film rather than use sound to enhance a film. And that's why I think A Quiet Place really should take out this category because of how it uses sound in a way that you don't expect to enhance a film. Next up we have Best Production Design. We have First Man, Mary Poppins Returns, The Favourite, Black Panther and Roma. Now, the only two which I can imagine actually winning this category are Black Panther and Mary Poppins Returns. While The Favourite does have some really good production design, I think the two nominations which I just spoke of have the best chance of winning because of more of the buzz that's going around them and the fact that Mary Poppins Returns does a great job of blending the animation style of things with the practical effects of like an actual set. And Black Panther just does a really good job at capturing this African-like environment in Wakanda. Coming up next we have Best Film Editing. In this we have Green Book, Bohemian Rhapsody, Vice, The Favourite and Black Can and Black Klansman. Now I personally would vote for Black Klansman because it's one of my favourite films of last year and I think it did a really good job in terms of its editing and the way it composed some of its shots. Other than that I can imagine Bohemian Rhapsody probably winning this category because of how well it edits between the scenes and the moments in Queen's history and how it edits between a song being written to a song being performed. Now I personally don't like the movie but I'll get more into that when we talk about Best Picture. Coming up next we have Best Costume Design with Black Panther, The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Mary Queen of Scots, The Favourite and Mary Poppins Returns. Now Mary Queen of Scots and The Favourite are definitely not going to win this category. Although they have great costume design, they're both pretty much the same in terms of costume design. And I think if one of them wins, really the other one could have easily won. So I don't think either of those two will win. And neither will The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. While that movie is a near perfect movie, I think Black Panther or Mary Poppins Returns will easily take out this category. Next up we have Best Animated Short Film. Now I've actually seen several of these. Bao, Late Afternoon and One Small Step. Uh, I personally love the way Late Afternoon is filmed in a sense, it's animated I should say, and I think it's really good. But I personally really love the story of One Small Step. It's a little more cliche than the other films, but if One Small Step or Late Afternoon win, I'm happy. I think those two films are really good. Next up we have Best Visual Effects with Christopher Robin, Avengers Infinity War, First Man, Ready Player One and Solo A Star Wars Story. Now I think Avengers Infinity War will easily take this category because of how great the film looks. But one thing I want to add is that Aquaman should have definitely been nominated in this category because the film does a really good job at creating this aquatic life look considering that a lot of the film takes place underwater. The characters look like they're in underwater 
the way that their hair moves and everything, it's really well done and it should have at least got a nomination. Next up we have Best Cinematography with The Favourite, A Star Is Born, Cold War, Never Look Away and Roma. I personally would go for A Star Is Born. There's a lot of buzz around this film itself and I think cinematography wise it looks amazing and a lot of people also think so. so a Star Is Born is likely to take out the category of Best Cinematography. Coming up to Best Adapted Screenplay, we have The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, Black Klansman, Can You Ever Forgive Me, If Bill Street Could Talk, and A Star Is Born. Now, as I've said earlier, I personally love Black Klansman, but I could easily see either The Ballad of Buster Scruggs or Black Klansman winning this category. I would love for Black Klansman to win, and that is my hope, but either of these two films, I personally think, could easily take out this category. Continuing on with Best Original Screenplay, we have First Reformed, Green Book, Vice, Roma, and The Favourite. So I think The Favourite and Green Book are likely to be the ones that are close to taking out this category or actually taking out the nomination win. So I can't really say which one I think specifically should win, but I do know that Vice should not be in this category because I don't think Vice is that great a film. And I don't think it definitely should have been nominated for Best Original Screenplay. I'm going to be skipping Best Foreign Language Film, Best Documentary Feature, and I'll be going on to Best Director now with Spike Lee's Black Landsman, Adam McKay's Vice, Powell Palakowski, Powell Palakowski's Cold War, I probably butchered that name, sorry, Alfonso Cuaron's Roma, Yorgos Lanthimos The Favourite, I've butchered a few of those names, but I'm sorry about that. As I've said before, I love Black Klansman, I think Spike Lee should easily take out this film, but there's a lot of buzz around Alfonso and Roma, the film. So either Spike Lee or Alfonso could take out this category. Moving on, we have Best Animated Feature, we have Ralph Breaks the Internet, Mirai, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Incredibles 2 and Isle of Dogs. I think there's no argument here, but either Spider-Man will take this out or Isle of Dogs. Both are really well made films and while I haven't seen Spider-Man yet, there's a lot of buzz surrounding that film and I think it's most likely to win this category. And now we have the best supporting category. So we have the best supporting actress in Emma Stone, Regina King, Rachel Weisz, Marina De Tavra and Amy Adams. I personally think that Amy Adams will take out this category. She's a really good actress and she did a good job in Vice. I personally don't love that movie but I can't deny that the acting in that film was good. Moving on to Best Supporting Actor, we have Adam Driver, Mahershala Ali, Sam Rockwell, Sam Elliott, Richard E. Grant. Now Sam Elliott should not be in this category because he wasn't really particularly that great in A Star Is Born. He was just there just being Sam Elliott. I personally think that Adam Driver will take out this win. Once again, Black Klansman deserves this win because it is a really well made film and Adam Driver does a great job in his role. Next up we have Best Actress with Lady Gaga, Melissa McCarthy, Olivia Colman, Yalitza Aparicio, sorry about that, and Glenn Close. There's a lot of buzz around Glenn Close and Lady Gaga winning this category, but I personally want Melissa McCarthy to win this because she subverted my expectations by giving a really raw and really entertaining performance in Can You Ever Forgive Me as a more serious character, because every time I see her I think she's this comedic character and she really went against her casting type in this film and delivered a brilliant performance. Finally, we have Best Actor with Bradley Cooper, Willem Dafoe, Rami Malek, Viggo Mortensen and Christian Bale. There are a lot of great actors in this category and I can't really specifically say which one I would personally want more than the other. From the buzz surrounding the actors though, it's more likely that Rami Malek or Christian Bale will take out this category as they are often seen as the best performances period from last year. Moving on we have best original music with Black Panther, Black Klansman, Mary Poppins Returns, Isle of Dogs and If Bill Street Could Talk being nominated. I think Black Panther should take out this nomination with its brilliant blend of hip hop, modern orchestral music and uh, African kind of vibes and tunes which really enhance the experience of Black Panther. We have, next up we have Best Sound Mixing with Black Panther, A Star Is Born, First Man, Roma, Bohemian Rhapsody. So in regards to Best Sound Mixing, I think Bohemian Rhapsody should easily take this out. 
because it's pretty much a giant musical which anyone could sing along to and generally it's the movie with the biggest sound or biggest musical score which would take out this nomination. Next up we have Best Original Song with All the Stars, The Place Where Lost Things Go, I'll Fight, When a Cowboy Trades His something, I don't know, it's cut off here, and Shallow. I personally love Shallow, it was one of my favourite songs of last year and I think it should definitely take out this category with the next song coming close should be When a Cowboy Trades His because that is a really entertaining song. If you haven't seen The Ballads of Buster Scruggs, go and watch it, it's a really good film. And finally, we have the Best Picture category with Bohemian Rhapsody, The Favourite, Black Panther, Black Klansman, Green Book, Vice, A Star is Born, and Roma. Now, there are three films in this category which I hear a lot of buzz around. We have A Star is Born, Roma, and Black Klansman. I think the rest of the nominations, some of them are really good. The Favourite and Green Book are sure to be hot topics for this category. But Vice, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Black Panther really don't deserve it to be in the Best Picture category. They're mediocre films at best, and some of them are pretty terrible. Vice is a terrible film, really shouldn't be nominated for Best Picture. That said, I personally hope that Black Klansman wins Best Picture, because not only is it a really well-made film, but it's so pivotal to the society that's happening now, to modern society, in the topics it explores and the situations which are discussed. People say Black Panther does a really good job at um, talking about modern society and black people and the culture and everything, but then you have a better made film that's in the same category, which not as many people are talking about. So that caps off my discussion of the nominations for the 2019 Oscars. I did skip a few categories, but that's alright. You can always check out the nominations yourself and see what films are nominated in case I didn't cover some of the categories. So in two weeks, I'll be back discussing the winners itself, seeing whether I was right or wrong, or whether the winners actually deserve the win or not. That said, all of the films in the, in the categories discussed are well-made films in their own right. Or whether they win or not does not take away from the film that they are.